You are watching the Justin TV Invitational, cast by myself, Total Biscuit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shoutcraft right here. I bring you the Justin TV Invitational. It's brought to you by Justin TV, Zowie, QPad, and Split Reason, as well as Zeke.com providing the brackets today. I've got Druby from Team Root for you, who have seen the last few games. He's pretty much going to be following Druby around because he's been doing extremely well. He just knocked out Hydra, which... That's that's pre pretty good, I'm told. I'm fairly sure Hydra's a pretty damn competent player. He's against Richman from All for One, who I have never seen before. So this will be interesting. We do have a TVT, and this will be played on Valhalla, which is the uh, old... Well, it's a conversion of an old IC Cup Brood War map. We've seen this before, if you've been watching the cast. Up until this point, you've got this fairly normal natural expansion right here. You've got one here, which only has a single gas geyser. And then your next one would be down here, which seems like you could probably defend that, although it's got that very wide ramp, so the chance of you set up any defenses, you're going to have to do so at the bottom. Very accessible and, of course, very vulnerable to drops as well around the back right there. Nasty stuff. More TBT. I'm all right with that. No problems about the TBT. All, all good. Bear in mind, folks, if you've just tuned in from the TSL or you have any intention of tuning out for the TSL, fear not. All of this is voted to my YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash totalhalibut. So you can get the full-on experience. It's exactly the same as this. It really is. It actually looks slightly better. And the audio is also slightly better because I do a few production tricks on it as well. So do not concern yourself with that if you miss out on anything. It's all there and all of the stuff that I cast is always over on youtube.com slash totalhalibut. If you're already watching on youtube.com slash total halibut, you might be aware of this, however. Oh my god, why are you not building Orbital Command? <gasps> Richman has a 10 second lead on the Orbital Command Center, which means precisely nothing. Woo, yeah. Thrilling, exciting stuff, folks, yes. Out he goes, and where he stops, nobody knows. Tech Lab right here. Will we see Marauders, or will we see Reapers? Reapers is a possibility, certainly. Kind of makes sense. Make sure he's got a Marine out this time. As we saw when Moonan tried that against Druby, it ended very badly for him. And the Reaper got very easily caught out of position. And then he realized, oh, I have nothing to defend my base with. Okay, we are building Marauders. Fair enough. Possibly looking for an early, maybe double Marine Marauder push, possibly. I don't know. We'll find out. A possibility. So many wonderful things can happen in early game TBT, folks. It's exciting. Oh, God, why? 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 Leave immediately. SCV escapes on 3 HP, and Druby is left hanging in the wind. Factory coming up right now for Druby, as opposed to the uh, double barracks approach of his opponent, triple barracks approach of his opponent. Tech Lab, nothing going out tech-wise as of yet. He can, though. Stim pack immediately. So we are looking for an early infantry push, a very early infantry push, timed, I would imagine, with Stim. It's called a timing push, folks, because it's timed. I know, it's shocking. But those of you who don't watch StarCraft might not be aware of what that is. That's what a timing push is. If you ever hear that in a cast, timing push is where you push at a specific time and you aim to exploit a window in which you have technology that your opponent does not. There are certain windows which are advantageous for pushes, and when it comes to stim pack, that is perhaps one of the most important. Usually you will push out without the benefit of anything in terms of medivacs or whatever. Reactor coming on right there, and we're going to have another tech lab. Yes, we are. There we go. Two tech labs and a reactor on the triple barracks approach. More marauders on the way for rich man, and that's going to be very confusing because he's written his name backwards. How, how dare he do such a thing? SCV finally gives up the ghost after a long, 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 long service of 5 minutes 45. Not so great. Marines Marauders. Hellion's coming out on the field as well. We've seen that Hellion push by Druby before. We know he's probably not going to get in here, although you never know, actually, since there's really no defense there right now. If the Marauder can nail it down, that would be nice, but it just missed it entirely. Through it goes. That single Marauder will be able to kill it, probably before it does too much damage, although those things are fairly slow. What's the stim pack looking like? There we go. The timing is almost perfect, though not quite. There is the push up the line right here. Druby forced to hold that line with SCVs. Stim pack now available. A lot of firepower being uh, rained down it right now. Cancels out the bunker. Will Richman be able to push his way in there, though? I'm not so convinced. I don't think so. I don't think he's got the numbers right now. I don't know how much damage was done by that. Not a huge amount. Maybe two or possibly three SCVs taken out there. So not a massive amount of damage done by that. The Marauder did a good catch there and dealt with that with ease. 
The greatest, the greatest of ease. Now, Richmond's going to need a little bit more to push past that. No stim pack available for Druby yet. He's actually not bothering with tech at all. Starport and the tech lab. Any Banshees on the way? Yes, indeed. He just starts it off right there. A sensible maneuver, at least to keep his opponent in his base defending against that. Seeing any engineering bay, we are not right now. Mmm, delicious. Well, well, well. Hellion drop! A quick grab, not much damage done. Takes out, I believe, a single SCB with that one. Gets out. Did I just see a big whale under there? There is actually a whale on this map. That's terrifying. Now, these Hellion drops will keep uh, Rich Man on his toes and back in his base, which is uh, where Druby wants him to be, as opposed to in a position where he can get shot to pieces. Oh, God, that's a lot of Marauders. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Yep, loses one already. Almost loses the second. There's no real position he can drop right here that isn't already covered. Still, that Banshee is on its way. It's already on the field. Cloak is on the way, so we are dedicating a little bit to that. Still, no engineering bait. And only a single base right now. The start pot coming up right here for Richman. Easily scouted. A little bit of a barbecue going on. Can he take the SCV? That's what he looks for right there. And he does. A little bit of a delay. Nicely played. There we go. Finally getting the stim pack out. Here comes the engineering bay from Richman. However, that Banshee is already in the air. Looks like he must have cancelled out of the cloak. There's no way he could have had it that quickly. Makes sense, honestly, when you think about it. The Banshee's not going to be able to do a huge amount. Looks for the harassment anyway. There you go. Not a lot he's going to be able to do. He'll be able to crack open maybe one Marauder. Stims away. Not quite quick enough, I'm afraid. Good maneuvering right here by Drewby. Good micromanagement. No problems there for him at all. Easily escaped. But there we go. We have the deployment of the missile turrets. Now, I would think, honestly, he deliberately did that to force him into a situation where he's having to build those missile turrets. And Drewby expands in the meantime because he knows that nothing is coming in his particular direction. Still no cloak and a Viking coming out. So that's going to severely limit the availability of everything, pretty much. Absolutely everything for his opponent. Well, well, well. Economically, Rich Man's certainly lagging behind a little bit. Ruby continues to pump out those SCVs, awaiting the expansion. He'll be able to deploy that there in a few short moments' time. Rich Man's force strategy seems to consist of, well, mostly Marines, few Marauders on the field as well. Doesn't have any tanks. He does have a Viking up. Reactor's coming up. Interesting. I have to wonder if that's for a swap or if he's actually going to go heavily into Hellions, which doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. In the meantime, however, oh, bear in mind, I suppose he does have an awful lot of Marines. Two Banshees to escort that and a Siege Tank. Messy stuff. If that decides to go anywhere near that. Raven coming up for Rich Man for some reason. No cloaked Banshees for you. Thank you very much. We get a snipe off of that. It's what he looks for. A little bit of damage. Nothing he really needs to worry about, if I'm totally honest. He might try and flank him there, do a little bit, but there's too many Marines on the field for that to be effective. A great grab right there. Excellent grab by Druby. Fantastic stuff. And here comes the force by Richman. It's looking pretty much equal right now. Those Banshees may make the difference if he's able to do big damage there. Brings in a couple of Hellions for a barbecue as well. Raven is there, but it doesn't have enough for the point. Your friends are on. There's the deployment. No way. No other tanks. GG, ladies and gentlemen. Was there ever any doubt on that one? Yeah, Druby takes him out in fine style, and that's 1-0 in his best of three series.